Okay, welcome back. This is going to be part two of the friction drive rebuild patch field expedient job. Uh, this stuff's been drying now for about, oh, five hours. It's the material that I slopped out is reasonably brittle. It's still got a little bit of, little bit of flexibility, but it's, for the most part, it's brittle. So let's see if we can get this apart. Now the bolt turned in the juice. Well, thunder with that. I'm going to go get an impact. Well, this is actually halfway coming apart. Doing better than I thought it would. Oh, would you look at that? That came right off there. Cool. All the heat is gone out of this resin. Ooh, that worked. That worked excellent. Wow. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. Looky there. Cool. That is that's sweet. I hope it's thick enough. That don't look like that much. Cool. Well, I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and do a little bit of trimming. I don't don't need this much material. I can't even get that much material in my lathe, so. I'm going to go cut a round circle on this and, uh, or at least get some of it knocked down to where I can get it up to the lathe, and then we'll be back. So we've got an approximation of a circle. Now, the finished size on this, I'm hoping we'll get rid of that void. I'm sure that it will. Here's, a, here's some of the bigger offcuts. Kind of a neat cross-section view. Here's an off-cut. Oh, quarter inch thick. Let's see how well it uh, stands up to delamination. Pretty good. say that'll work. Golly! It's certainly hard to break. My soul. And remember this is from the, this is off cuts. So this isn't the good stuff. This is basically the scrap. Huh. I may have invented a a new bulletproof uh, vest material to test for Tau Flader Mouse Foos. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this over on the lathe and face it off. Well, now I've lost my caterpillars. There's Mike. Okay, we got 550, about 557. Well, I'll give me, I can do 10,000 off one side, flip her over, that'll work. My target thickness is a half an inch here, so I think we'll, we'll be all right. We'll get over to the lathe. So I made this several months ago. This is, uh, I called it a... Uh, Super glue chuck or something like that. I was inspired by Chris in Australia, Click Spring, to do this. Uh, I had to do some real thin 
parts facing. Didn't have no way to get a hold of it. Man, super glue check works great. But when I built this, I put a quarter inch hole through the, the one inch piece of aluminum here. And then I also bored in a little recess right here. So this is gonna work perfect. I'll get the chuck itself faced off and then I'll just bolt that up to the chuck with one single bolt and I'll be able to face down to about a half an inch of the center. So that'll work real good and I've got to do that off camera because the camera's in my way to get to the headstock. So I've got the first side faced off and looks all right. I don't know I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks just fine to me. The oh, the chips that come off of it are pretty interesting. You know, it looks like it looks like PVC. It is, I mean, it made a, a stringy chip, but it is somewhat fragile. Pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around and face the other side and get it faced to thickness, and then we'll move forward. Okay, I got the outside time. I just got the nastiness turned off of it. No big deal. Now I'm gonna oop, bump the camera a few times. I'm gonna face this off down to this washer. No big deal. The chips that are coming off of this are pretty neato. clean face on that. Okay, got about 531. The scale on this thing is terrible. I said I had 531. Uh, 5, 25, 30 and three quarter. Five, 25, 32, that's good enough. Well, that's not 30 thousandths off of it, and just see where we're at. on the nose. Groovy.
not bad for a surface finish. Hmm. Neato. Okie dokie. Well, uh, I'm going to get it off here. And I'm going to take it over to the drill press. And I'm going to bore me a, I think that's inch and a quarter, hole through this thing. And see what happens in that operation. And uh, then we'll come back to a mandrill. If you're interested in that old champion drill press, I've got a whole series of videos on it. And I'll try to remember to put a card up somewhere up there or something. So y'all let me know in the comments, do y'all prefer multi-segment fairly short videos? Or like a project like this, would you prefer it to be an hour long video? with incontinuities and all kinds of other errors. Okay, so I made this, uh, let me know in the comments on that though. I made this mandrel here a while back, I can't even remember why, but this is a 3 8 shaft. This is a piece of scrap bin aluminum. And I made a steel washer to go on the back of that. And this is a Morris Taper 1 on the end of here and a Morris Taper 3 in my headstock. So here's our blank with a hole board in it. And uh, I checked that hole fits the shaft on the tiller very well. And I should mention that this, this friction disc, this is the original, uh, that is not factory paint. I know that that's not factory paint because this whole thing was painted when I got the tiller, the old man had, had the engine, the original engine or second engine, the engine that was on it was the only thing he took inside and he slathered it with red paint. Uh, the engine was shot and I replaced it, but this is not original paint. But what I was trying to say is the friction disc goes on a hub about that big on both sides. Matter of fact, this is the hub, the uh, washer for the front side of it. Oop, dog gone. <laughs> not gone, not the dog. I 
better stick that on out from a ranch go. And I must apologize for the obnoxiousness of my poor old lathe. I've got a gear or two that's unhappy in my gear drive. Okay, now where'd my safety glasses go? Okay, that's all the way out. I don't have a whole lot to take off of this OD, so I'm just going to use the wrong tool to do that with. I might be able to... Ah, I'll just use that. Heck with it. Oh. Reckon it helped tighten that up. I'm going to finish taking that down off camera because the camera is in my cotton picking way. I'll be right back. Well, there we go. This is about as done as it's going to get. I took uh, a triangle, three cornered. Yeah, I'm getting uh, slap happy. Uh, a TCMT cutter on a 30 degree bit and put a 30 degree chamfer on either side of this. I know that this is not a 30 degree chamfer, that's chamfer, that's more of a 60 degree, but this will wear its own clearance in. I'm not worried about that. So anyway, I'm going to put this on the tiller tonight and I'm going to start her up and I'm going to see what happens and I will record it but that'll be on the next episode. So, if you want to be sure and miss that, hit the, the like and the subscribe and the, all that crap. Don't miss any of my very shockingly exciting videos. So, there we go. Till we meet again, y'all drive safe, watch for deer.